one of the obstacles I've had is like people lessening how intense my experience was by their lack of experience and trying to relate. Okay, like this guy, Dave Roberts, he's an awesome dude. Love him as a person, you know what I mean? But like, you know, I was telling him about my spiritual experiences and, you know, oneness of the universe and just experiencing everything, being everything and all that kind of stuff. I mean, I, it's, it's so hard to explain. But then, you know, he was like, trying to tell me that he knows exactly what I mean, knows exactly what I mean. I'm like, no, you don't, man. Like, dying and coming back isn't the same. He's like, one time, my my son was lost, and I remember thinking, dear uh, God, I hope if you're out there, I don't know where you are, if you are here or not, but if you are, I, I really, whatever, whatever. And then his son, he, his son, like, one second later, they came over the hill with his son or something like that. I mean, that's great. That's an awesome story, but, I mean, I'm sure, I mean, I know it's true. I don't mean story is in like that, but... The thing is, like, that's not even comparable. It's not even comparable. This, my experience has nothing to do with life and death. I don't care if I die. I mean, I love my children, and I would be so sad if they died. But at the same time, if they died, I would accept it, and I would understand that whether knowingly or unknowingly, they chose this option. They chose this, to do this, like, in this life. And they don't even know it yet. I don't know it yet. And I don't want to know it, because I don't want to read people's futures, and I don't want to know what's going to happen to people. I'd rather have the element of surprise and live life... You know, like that. So, I mean, I love everybody the way they are, and I accept everything the way it happens, but I'm still going to have emotions, especially when I tune back into, you know, trying to act like everybody else, you know, act like everything matters so much when it doesn't. You know, I, I wish that I could say that, you know, because people are going to be, you know, they're going to lessen my experience because their lack of experience. They're going to be like, oh, well, his thing couldn't have been that major because of my, my stuff never has been. And their major stuff is so minor, like very minor. But everything is major, as in like, you know, a bug, a bug has its own world, its own universe, you know what I mean? Every person lives in their own universe. So all these things that happen that seem so meaningful to you are. All the things that I thought were meaningful to Dan were. And now the stuff that I thought was meaningful to Dan ain't shit, ain't shit, you know what I mean? Like, Rip me, uh, kill me if you if you want, because I know what happens. Like one of those things that I feel like I need to tell people, you know, they just they need to change. They just need to change, and everyone knows that anyway. And how am I supposed to, you know, pre present such, you know, stuff? I don't know, but I need people to, to understand that I'm somebody to fucking work with on this stuff because I know exactly what I'm talking about. This stuff has happened, and it's not going anywhere. And this is the rest of my life, and I'm pretty damn young, so I need to uh, help. I need help figuring out ways to put this into words to present it to people so that they can, I mean, there's, there's not one evil intention in my body, not, not one even intention in my mind. I'm not going to harm people. I don't want to eat animals. I don't want to destroy anything. I don't want to watch sh shooting and guns and violence. I don't want anything negative. I, I enjoy sex, which is very awesome, loving and meaningful, except for the ha fact that people get jealous of each other. They, they, they're hurt by things that make no sense. The girl I like had sex with somebody else. Okay, boo-hoo. Well, then have sex with her later. Or, you know, you don't have to have sex with her if you really love her. You know what I mean? Like, the, those there's, there's, there's three or four different ways to look at that situation, but there's no reason to ever be sad about it because people are just so selfish and inward. And, you know, it's okay to go inward. When I'm using inward, I mean, like, about themselves, but about their human self. If they go inward and find out their spiritual self, there's a, a, such a different thing there. Anyway. I gotta go. I'm at, I'm at a uh, gas station and I need to hurry up and get my day done, but I have too much to say today. I have too much to say all the time, but I just, I'm tired of bawling it all up. I don't want to say it in front of my dad and my mom because I don't want them to, you know, be upset. But at the same time, I feel like if I don't, I'm, I'm just, I'm going to drive myself nuts by holding this all in because I can't deal with trying to play just Dan Alexander the human. I can't do that anymore. I just, it, it drives me fucking nuts. And swearing means nothing. God doesn't care. You can say God damn. God doesn't care if he uses his name in vain. That's just some of the people say that so their kids don't have potty mouths and so they don't have kids that act rude and be mean. The rules and the laws of religion, they're just things that people said because they want people to act right. If people just act right and be a good example themselves, then they wouldn't have to worry. But they're not fucking good examples and they want their kids to be good. It's ridiculous. Think about it. I'm, I know what I'm saying.